All right guys, welcome back to the Nico Brothers. So we just got an awesome deal on this RV. We've been looking for a couple months now and we played it and we picked it up. So man, that's fantastic. We looked around some quotes to get it shipped over here, but it's pretty crazy. Like $4,000 to come over here. So that's insane. We ain't gonna do that. Our game plan is we're gonna buy the parts that we need, like the knee assembly, whatever the front end parts are to make it run and drive. It says running drive in Copart, but we want to make it run and drive a thousand miles. Yeah, we got to drive it home, so this thing is out there. And Copart's like you drive a foot or foot front, foot back, you run and drive. So I don't know. Definitely got front end damage right there on the driver's side. I mean, there's some stuff we got to risk. You know, who knows what's going to happen? It's a little sketchy driving all the way back. We don't know. We just picked it up. Not much details on it, but hey. No hey, risk. It's listed as a run and drive one. Yeah. So we're ready. That's that's a good point. It means it should move a little bit. We should be able to at least drive it out of the yard. Yeah. So we're excited about that. It's definitely a big risk, but hey, that's part of the game. So let's get our stuff ordered, get everything together, and hit the road. I guess just made it. I'm gonna spend the night. See you guys in the morning. Unfortunately, the drive shaft is completely disconnected. That means we can't get it to roll at all. It's completely non running drive. We're gonna have to hire a tow truck. Set us back about 400 bucks, but we have to get it out of the yard and into our remote lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get it relocated because Copart will not let us work on their yard at all. I guess for insurance reasons or whatever, they don't want you to work on any vehicle there. So let's get it hooked up and going. Okay guys, we got it towed in. Now we're ready to replace all the suspension. It only took about two hours to get it over here, but it's pretty nice. And we got to work here, and then we got a little view. At the lake. So, hopefully we have all the suspension parts. It looks like we're gonna need a tire, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we have it. We have the new knee assembly, and actually ours is not a dually setup. It's this one. So I took it apart really quick and see if this would go on. Looks like we're in business. So we're gonna switch that out, tighten the bearing, and we're ready to install the knee assembly.
All right, so here it is. We got the suspension all on. We got the brakes bled. We have a new brake hose. Everything looks like it went back together pretty good. We're ready to uh, put the, the wheel on. Got a new tire on it. So, and then clean up this mess. Alright guys, so we are ready to go. We got the wheel on, we fixed the alignment a little bit, got them pointing a lot straighter. So let's uh let's go, let's try it out. Alright guys, so we're driving. And it still needs an alignment. So, but you should be able to make it home. It's not pulling or anything. See? But uh, let's keep driving. Alright guys, we're taking the exit. Everything so far so good. We're for like 80 miles on it. Let's check it out. Let's make sure everything is good. Put some gas in and uh, keep driving. Alright guys, so we're here at the gas station. We got the HAR hooked up. Nice and easy. And then let's check out if everything is doing good. So for about, what, 80 miles on it? The steering wheel is not straight, but the tires are feeling good. Doesn't feel like it's cupping. The wheel bearing feels good. It's not hot. I don't see any other noises. I'm gonna wash the window a little more. But this side's looking good too. The tire's not cupping. The brakes feel good. So we're gonna continue the road trip. So we got this thing back at the shop and now we have to do some framework on it basically the bumper shifted over so good thing we got an outdoor frame because we ain't gonna go inside but we got it all set up right there it's huge it's another big project not the biggest project we've done but definitely in the middle of big and small so well let's yeah. check it out though we haven't really really checked it out yet that's true this thing is so nice honestly i love it even better than the other one this is like compact but yeah you get all your features everything that you need easier to drive it's not like a semi truck so it's still like a truck with all the goodies let's check it out see what we got so up front we just got a regular e450 van basically doesn't look too much different just made it too much noise Michael. is that better or worse only got 32,000 miles on it i mean like i said 2018 this thing's nice for sure. And, and no airbags are deployed. Seatbelts are good. The damage no really wasn't dash. too bad. I mean, like, what? Well, you drove it back, so. Like 900 miles. Dang. So that's pretty. So. That's a sick deal for sure. This thing is nice. Got the upgraded radio. Radio, all that fun stuff. I mean, what? plenty of room. Let's keep looking. What's inside? I mean, from here it looks like a regular truck, but then you just go in the middle. Boom! You got your motorhome right there. Beautiful. So nice. So let's check out inside. Okay, hold on. All right. 
Here we go. I mean, you got everything you need. You got your full kitchen over here, plenty of countertop space. And as you're driving, chilling, you could be playing Uno. I mean, hanging out, you got your seat belts. So nice. And what's really cool about this uh, RV, it's got, what, bunk beds? Yeah, I mean. Like full size. Right now, I got plenty of space to walk around, but this all slides out too. So once you're actually stationary, you're good to go. Everything moves out. But, oh yeah, plenty of beds, plenty of space for the kiddos. Yeah, it's got top bunk and bottom. It's like the semi truck we did. Beautiful. This time you get the top bunk. <laughs> I mean, there's a top bunk up there too. It's a little more spacious. So we got a bed right above the driver. We can chill there. Big old TV. I'm surprised the TV's still there, honestly, because usually in Copart, that's the first thing they take. TVs. No, they don't. Not Copart. You know, somebody, before it goes to Copart, somebody knows somebody, then TV's gone. But I'm surprised, yeah, it's here. And this thing's got like eight TVs. So you got one there. The bunk beds have TVs. Every single bunk bed has its own DVD player and TV. And the master has a TV. Big old TV. Yeah, there's a TV outside. What? Yeah, that's everywhere. Let's go check out the back room. So you get basically like this hallway slash bathroom, everything on here. It's so nice. Shower. You could be showering and driving. That's crazy. That's not legal, Michael. Okay, you shouldn't be. But you can. But anywho, there's the master bedroom. Like I said, this all slides out too, so you got plenty of space. There's a Heck TV. Yeah. It's kind of dark, but oh, it's very nice. It's so soft. It's like that micro memory foam stuff. Fancy. But look, what we actually what plan a trip. So yeah, we're going, going to the Ark in Kentucky. Yeah, Check so we need to get this thing fixed ASAP. Yeah, let's get it done and get going. So overall, the damage wasn't too bad. Like I said, replace the knee assembly, all that good suspension stuff, but check out the gaps. That's why we're going to the frame right here. The hood right there to the fender. I'll look at the other side. Yeah, definitely moved over. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull that back, get it adjusted, make the gaps right, because you can't be cruising with bad gaps. No, nobody wants that. We'll get it done. All right, let's get to it. Alright guys, check out the progress. We got it all pulled out a little bit more. Got the support a little bit better. Seems like the frame rails are sitting nice and straight now. So let's uh let's try to get this fender on the front parts on. Let's see, let's check out the gaps. So uh let's try let's try a little bit more work on this thing. Alright guys, so we got the fender all scuffed down. So the first step is gonna be we're gonna put some sealer on this fender, then we're gonna put paint and two coats of clear. So let's get to it. It's just the next day and we got the fender painted and it turned out awesome. Look at it. So it's nice and dry and it's ready to get installed. We got the framework all done. The headlight came in, the grill support came in. So we're ready to assemble the whole front end, make the gaps and uh, hopefully drive it off with one piece. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, check out the results. This turned out really nice. Gaps are lower looking good. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's not the original bumper. So we uh, modified it to fit. That's actually off of F-250, the newer one. And I think it looks, uh, looks makes it look way better. But we're ready to uh, take all the chains off and uh, get off the frame machine. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. On the bottom of this video, we'll leave a link down for the tools that we used. We use it on the road, at the shop. They're great, they're reliable, and definitely affordable. So be sure to check them out.